Hello students, today I discuss about velocity of a rocket or jet plane. So how the velocity of a rocket or jet plane uh, can be found out. So, so I have uh, explained here how the velocity can be calculated of a rocket or a jet plane. So let del a, uh, delta m is the fuel fusion at any time interval delta t during the motion of the rocket. So this is the de delta m is the fuel fusion and uh, at any interval delta t during the motion of the rocket. So uh, then the gas releasing rate uh, or, or the mass of the released gas per second will be delta m by delta t. For delta t time the fuel released um, is delta um, the mass of the fuel released is delta m. So, the rate will be delta m by delta t. Also, let the uh, relative velocity of the gas with respect to the uh, uh, with res, res, uh, respect to the rocket is u. We take the relative velocity of the gas, releasing gas, uh, releasing gas uh, is uh, with respect to the rocket is u. For, uh, for uh, convenience of the calculation, to calculate the velocity of the rocket, uh, we will assume that delta m by uh, delta m by delta t and u are both constant. So this uh, the, the rate of the uh, gas leasing uh, gas leasing rate and the uh, relative velocity u are both constant during the motion of the rocket, and we can neglect the gravity uh, since that the <coughs> force acting on the rocket is very huge so we can uh, neglect the uh, force of the gravi uh, gravity gravitational force uh, on the rocket now the rate of change in the momentum of the released gas is u into delta m by delta t this is the rate of change of the momentum of the released gas now by the law of conservation of momentum the total momentum of the rocket and the released gas is constant we know the uh, law of conservation of uh, momentum that the total momentum of the rocket and the released gas is constant so the rate of change of the momentum of the rocket is um, this will be negative of u delta m by delta t by the by the law of the conservation of uh, momentum now if for delta t which is very very small tending to zero the impulse force on the rocket is a if we take the impulse force on the rocket is a then we will get a is equal to minus u delta m by delta t and here negative sign denotes that f and u are uh, opposite uh, acting on opposite direction u and f acting on opposite direction so u will be upward and impulse force will be downward now again let that at any moment the total mass of the velocity rocket is capital m and the velocity is v then we will get f is equal to this is the total mass of the rocket m and the velocity v so we will get um, the f is equal to m dv by dt mass multiply acceleration so also we will get that uh, the rate of change of the fuel infusion and the rate of change of the ma uh, uh, mass decreasing of the rocket is equal so this will be equal now we can <coughs> equal these two terms minus u dm by dt is equal to capital uh, dv by dt so this will be dv by dt is equal to minus u by m and uh, dm by dt by equation 1 so here uh, we can write down in this way uh, this is the acceleration uh, actually acting on the uh, rocket which through which the rocket gas uh, rocket goes upward this is the required acceleration through which the rocket uh, uh, goes upward 
Now, if we wish to find out the immediate velocity at any moment, if we wish to get the immediate velocity, so we need to first write down this equation in this way uh, dv is equal to minus u by m dm or minus u dm by capital M from this equation 1. Now, if the initial mass of the rocket uh, is taken m0 when uh, the mass uh, of the fuel and the rocket both are <coughs> taken together is m0 and the initial velocity v is equal to 0 uh, rocket uh, at first uh, stays uh, at uh, motion 0 so the v is equal to 0 then by integrating this uh, left hand side from 0 to v and the right hand side uh, from m0 to m at any moment the mass of the uh, uh, rocket is m capital m and the initial mass is m0 then integrating we will get v is equal to u into uh, uh, log of base e m0 by m so this is the velocity uh, uh, immediate velocity of the rocket at any moment of the motion so if you like this video then like share it to your friends and if you have any comment then comment me